Mere minutes matter when it comes to saving lives. The American Heart Association says when a person suffers a cardiac arrest, their survival depends on how quickly CPR can be performed and can double or triple their chance of living. Students at Rutland Town School are now learning the steps to help make an impact. Our Rutland Bureau Chief Connor Ullathorne shores us. I think it's great and just talking to some of the students just now they had said you know I hope I never have to do this but if I do at least I know the first step in saving somebody's life. Seventh and eighth graders at Rutland Town School are learning the steps to take performing hands-only cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. Listening to an easy to remember song released in the 70s helps them learn the correct compressions per minute. For teachers at the school, the first step for them is always about raising awareness. If anything, it brought them awareness on what to do, at least to pick up the phone and call somebody or to attempt. So it's like you said, what do you say, 40% of the people don't know anything about CPR. And so now we just educated two grade levels to at least be able to attempt um, and take that first step to maybe help save someone's life. Nick Strance, a former PE and health teacher, now works as a school engagement director for the American Heart Association. And after teaching for 15 years, I taught so many of those students and just knew their limitations and what I could do to help them out as students. And teaming up with the American Heart Association was the best resource I always found. Hopefully it jumpstarts them into learning uh, CPR and becoming certified, you know, before they graduate high school. According to the American Heart Association, around 70% of out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen in homes. And only 46% of people who experience an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest get the immediate help they need before professional help arrives. That's why Strantz is teaching students how crucial the first few minutes are to saving someone's life. So for younger students to learn, you know, we just learned it's so important, those first crucial 10 minutes. Um, so hands-only CPR, uh, just a great life-saving skill, number one, uh, gives that victim a chance to survive. I think it's very heartwarming, reassuring. Uh, I think eventually we would love to have all of our middle school kids um, fully trained in CPR and first aid, and this is just one step in getting them there. Strantz said the AMA partners with over 100 schools across Vermont and that you can find more free information online to help learn hands-only CPR that could help one day save someone's life. Reporting in Rutland Town, Connor Olathorne, Channel 3 News.